Today we will discuss continuity and convergence of filter. Now the theorem is let xt and y be the two topological spaces and let x belongs to x. Let f be a mapping from x to y then the following statements are equivalent. The statement A is f is continuous at x and the statement B is for every filter base B on x converging to x the filter base f of b converges to f of x and the statement c is for every ultra filter base b on x converging to x the ultra filter base f of b converges to f of x let us prove this theorem first we shall prove that a and b are equivalent so let a hold that means f is continuous at x and we have to prove that for every ultra filter for every filter base b on x converging to x the filter base f of b converges to f of x so let b be a filter base on x converging to x then we have to prove that the collection f of b containing f image of members of b is um, this, um, this collection converges to f of x and we have proved earlier that this collection is a filter base on y. So we have to prove that this collection f of b converges to f of x. We know that the filter base f of b on y would converge to f of x if every neighborhood of f of x contains a member of f of b. As we have proved earlier that if B is a base filter base on X converges to X then every neighborhood of X contains a member of filter base B and similar is the case here because we have a filter base on Y which converges to F of X we want to prove this actually so we shall prove that every neighborhood of f of x contains some member of f of b. So let n be a neighborhood of f of x and we have to prove that this n contains a member of f of b. Since f is continuous at x, so n Um, n um, is since n is a neighborhood of f of x and f is continuous so we know that f inverse n is a neighborhood of x and since this is a neighborhood of x and b is a filter base on x converging to x so there exists a member b of b such that b is contained in f inverse n and this implies that f of b is contained in f of f inverse n is contained in n. And so we have shown that this neighborhood n of f of x contains a member of filter base f of b. This is a member of f of b since this b it belongs to b, filter base b on x. So we can say that for every neighborhood of f of x we can get some member of f of b which is contained in that neighborhood and so f of b converges to f conversely let b hold then we have to prove that f is continuous at f of x that means we have to prove that for every neighborhood n of f of x there is exists some neighborhood m of x such that f of m is contained in n that is the condition for continuity at x so take some neighborhood suppose n be a neighborhood of f of x we know that the neighborhood filter n of x on x converges to x and by hypothesis f of n of x converges to f of x because we have um, taken the hypothesis as if any filter base f um, and b, b converges to x then um, 
say f images that is f of the filter base converges to f of x and so here f of n of x converges to f of x and since f of n of x converges to f of x so there exists a member of this filter filter base f of m of f of n x such that f of m is contained in n because n is a neighborhood of f of x so um, by by the result that is if n is a neighborhood of f of x um, then um, and since f of n of x converges to f of x so every um, since every neighborhood of f of x contains some member of this so there exists a member f of m of f of n of x such that f of m is contained in n as m belongs to n of x means uh, m is a neighborhood of x so we have shown that for every neighborhood n of f of x there exists a neighborhood m of x such that f of m is contained in n hence f is continuous at x next we show that a is equivalent to c as every ultra filter base is also a filter base so a implies c follows from a implies b the change is only filter base and, and ultra filter base so we have to show that c implies a so let c hold we have to show that f is continuous at x if possible let f be not continuous at x that means there exists a neighborhood n of f of x such that there does not exist any neighborhood m of x such that f of m is contained in n because continue from continuity we know that for every neighborhood n of f of x there exists a neighborhood m of x such that f of m is contained in n and so this is not a case means there is uh, some neighborhood n of f of x such that there does not exist any neighborhood m of x such that m f of m is contained in n that means there does not exist any m in n of x such that m is contained in f f inverse of n since if m is a neighborhood of x then f inverse n is also a neighborhood of n and this means f inverse n is not a neighborhood of x because there does not exist any neighborhood of x which is contained in f of f inverse n so f inverse n is not a neighborhood of x as n of x has the finite intersection property and neighborhood of any two members of n of x is also a neighborhood of x means it also a member of n of x and so this has the finite intersection property and n of x union x minus f inverse of n x minus f inverse n means it, this is the collection of those elements of um, x which um, has um, uh, whose image is not contained in n because here we are um, removing this f inverse n from x so this is the set of all those elements of x which is not contained in Um, whose image not contained in n and so this um, and this uh, and we also know that since uh, no member of f uh, no member of n of x is contained in f of f inverse n um, so every 
member every member of n of x contains some member of x minus of inverse n and uh, so this also has a um, fip finite intersection property then there exists a filter because uh, we know that if we have any collection of subsets of x um, which has a finite intersection property then there exists a filter on it containing that collection and so since this collection has the finite intersection property so there exists a filter uh, containing that collection this collection and since every filter is contained in some ultra filter so there exists some ultra filter f on x containing um, this collection as n of x converges to x so f also converges to x because f um, contains n of x f is finer than n of x and so we know that if any filter converges to x then any filter finer than that filter also converges to x so f also converges to x but we find that the ultra filter f of f and, and the, uh, we have also proved earlier that if f is of an ultra filter on x then f of f is an ultra filter on x so we have this ultra filter this is an ultra filter so but we find that this ultra filter does not converge to f of x why because we find that this ultra filter uh, is not eventually in neighborhood n of f of x because it will converge to f of x if and only if it contains um, every neighborhood of f of x but n is a neighborhood of f of x but n cannot belong to uh, this um, collection f of f because this f of x minus f inverse n this belongs to f of x and in this since f image of the elements of this set is not contained in n so this does not contain any element of n and so um, intersection of n and f of x minus f inverse n is high so n cannot belongs to um, cannot belong to this f of f and so we can say that f of f does not converge to f of x but this contradicts the hypothesis because we have assumed um, uh, we have taken c um, uh, we have assumed that statement c hold and statement c shows that if we have an ultra filter which converges to x then um, f of um, f image of uh, uh, those ultra filter members converges to f of x but here we find that f of f does not converge to f of x so our assumption is wrong hence f must be continuous